Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I'd take you guys to eMart. It is like a Walmart or Target in America, but I just wanted to show you guys the prices of groceries in Korea in case anybody is curious about it. The grocery prices in eMart are a little bit more expensive, so if you're looking for something more affordable, I definitely recommend going to your local farmer's market or local town marts because the grocery prices there will be a lot more affordable. So let's head to eMart right now. It's just right across the street from where I currently live. I'll show you guys the prices of like fruits and vegetables and um, meats and other various groceries in there. Right now, I'm just passing through the subway station to go to eMart. I can also access eMart from outside, but I usually like to just go through the subway station because it's a little bit quicker. I'll try my best to show you guys everything and the prices, but since I am just kind of trying to film secretly so I don't get in trouble, the videos may be a little bit crazy and blurry so please forgive me for that but hopefully you guys can still be able to see prices and items clearly for today's video i'll only be showing you guys the food and grocery part of emart but if you guys want to see other parts of emart like the home section appliance section toys please comment down below and let me know and i'll try to make a separate video on that next time now I'm just heading downstairs to where the food section is, so let's go. Alright, so let's check how much the fruit prices are. I see some cherries, and I'll try to put the USD price up on the screen so you guys can see how much it costs in USD. We have some blueberries here, and then I think these next to the cherries, they are peaches, I believe. Peaches, but... I usually never buy fruit just because it's really expensive in Korea. If you love fruit, then just expect to pay a lot of money. Over here, we have a very small organic section so you can find some snacks here for kids. Honestly, I hardly ever see anybody shopping in the organic section. I think because the prices are pretty expensive compared to normal groceries and people ain't got time to be spending that money on just the organic label. Here we have a melon, it's about $10. And then corn is popular these days. Lots of people getting corn because it's cheap. Tomatoes are about $10 for the cherry tomatoes and five to $6 for normal sized tomatoes. I would like a tomato tree when I move to my new apartment. So hopefully it can grow on my terrace. Actually, we had a tomato shortage a few months ago, so the prices of tomatoes were so high, it was crazy. Okay, so over here, some more melons like honeydew, I think, and cantaloupe, also expensive, almost $10 just for this small melon. Ridiculous, ridiculous. All these prices are ridiculous. And then over here, some grapefruit, two of them cost about four dollars usd i don't really eat grapefruit so i don't know about that but bananas also expensive almost seven eight dollars i recommend just going to the local farmer's mart because it's a lot cheaper and more affordable all right let's see what else is here we have avocados too for about three dollars still expensive a watermelon is in season one is about 15 16 dollars how much is watermelon in america because i don't even remember we have some package cut fruit ready to go and then another salad section 
Next to the salad section, we have the 990 section. And the 990 section is just cheap items. It's kind of like a dollar section in America. So you can just pick like small amounts of kind of ingredients that you need here. Then you have your herb section here. You can find thyme, basil, rosemary, and of course cilantro, asparagus, and all of your other greens and lettuces over here. Let's see, over here we have pineapple, pretty expensive. And okay guys, like seriously, one mango costs almost $8, ridiculous. I've never had mango in Korea because it's so expensive. Limes, lemons, under a dollar. Also expensive, I believe they're like a few cents in America, right? How much are they? Let me know. So here we have our rices, about $10 for a couple of kilograms. Usually I get my brown rice here. And over here we have potatoes, they're on sale today. so. One kilogram under $2, not bad. Onions, not bad. Let's see. Sweet potatoes are usually a bit more on the pricier side. I believe if you go to the local marts, it may be a bit cheaper. Not sure what this purple thing is. I've never used it, but they have some bell peppers here and they call them paprika in Korea. Some carrots. A few of them let's see I forgot to get the price sorry y'all and then more onions green onions have been kind of expensive these days but it's getting back to a cheaper price broccoli one is about one dollar under two dollars here we have eggplant cucumbers not too expensive Zucchini, my favorite, and then lots of peppers to choose from. Be careful, some of them are very spicy. And then we have the big paprikas here, bell peppers. They're under $4. Let's head to the egg section. So they kind of mix all these eggs together. There's some organic ones, cage-free, non-pesticides, non-GMOs. They're pretty much all mixed. So you just have to read the labels to find out like which eggs you want. Let's check the price. So it is about seven to eight dollars for a pack of these eggs. And I think these are a bit more expensive because they have the green label on them, which means they can be cage-free or just like non-pesticides, non-chemicals on the eggs. There's different types. Of course, the ones that do have chemicals are cheaper. They're about like five to six dollars. Right next to the egg section, we have the seafood and fish section. So over here, we have some frozen shrimp. It's about eight to nine dollars for a bag and cocktail shrimp is almost $14. Sometimes I like to buy the cocktail shrimp for my spring rolls, but I think the price of shrimp is definitely a no for me. Like the bigger ones are almost $20, so no thank you. Let's go see the cost of the other seafood. There's some fresh shrimp here and then maybe other kind of seafoods. I'm not sure exactly what they are. Some squid or octopus, about nine to ten dollars. Maybe this section is like fish parts. I'm not sure. What is it, guys? Do you guys know? And then you'll start seeing some fishes here. Usually we buy fish and it's about five to six dollars for like um, two fishes. And salmon is also expensive, seven to eight dollars just for one little piece of salmon. So I don't eat salmon that often. Some more fish here. I don't really know what type of fishes these are. I just have always chosen like the same one. If you guys have a fish that is delicious please comment down and let me know because I would love to try it out these days I'm trying to eat more fish instead of red meats okay so let's go over to the next section which I believe is chicken 
and for chicken it ranges about five to six dollars so not too bad chicken wings drumsticks and chicken breast just affordable prices and over here we have pork so ground pork about three to four dollars and for barbecue meats like moksa or samgyeopsal 17 18 19 dollars more samgyeopsal and curry pork 78 dollars over here we're going into the korean beef and korean beef is very expensive so i never get korean beef just because there's no way i can afford that like look at this price almost twenty dollars for this small amount so no i never get that they also have australian beef and american beef available if i want to eat steak i always just get the american brand because it's the cheapest one i never realized how much australian beef there was all of this is just from australia there are so many kinds here they have some ground beef and let me go and find a steak the steak is about seven to eight dollars so not that bad koreans tend to like their steak very fatty they call it marbling so if you look on the steak you can see a lot of fat in between but most american steaks are more red i prefer american steaks to the korean ones okay so let me walk around and show you guys the pre-packaged foods and compare the cost of them to american ones this aisle has a lot of sauces and pastas and they do have a very small selection of gluten-free pasta but it's just pretty much one brand that is offering it there's not that many gluten-free products in Korea and I think they are very hard to find. I haven't seen that many in the stores. We have some pasta sauces here. They range from about four to five dollars. And then over here is kind of just like curry powders and instant mixes of flavorings. We do have salsa here, but it's pretty expensive, almost $5 for a small thing of salsa. And then we have some cooking oils here as well. You can see the prices, not too expensive for cooking oils. Over on this side is a lot of condiments, so you can find your steak sauces, mustards, mayonnaise, and ketchups mayonnaise is about three to four dollars and we also have some soy and vegan options for mayonnaise over here you can see some imitation crab they have lots of different kinds and then this area also has your like sausages bacon hams korean sausages taste a lot different and they also cook differently so i really miss american sausages sometimes especially breakfast sausages bacon is about seven to eight dollars just for a small pack and then there these are ham for sandwiches and also it's really hard to find like deli meats in korea sometimes i see them but sometimes they don't have them at all let's go over here these are like soy sauces and various other kinds of sauces and this whole aisle is pretty much spam spam and tuna koreans love their spam so you can find so many here and then they also have lots of tuna but i pretty much just buy the emart brand because it's the cheapest one it's just like under a dollar so i always get the no brand one i really recommend if you're looking for more affordable options for food you can check out the no brand it is emart's brand but they also have their own store called no brand so if you have one of those in your area then you can go and shop there for cheaper groceries 
over here we have your vinegars and ciders and then on this side you have sugars two dollars for a small bag six dollars for a bigger bag we have some cooking flours like corn flour and maybe other kinds i'm not sure and then there's a small section of spices spices are about three to five dollars for a little bottle how much are they in america let me know down below okay so there are some ready to eat foods here but i'm gonna skip those let's go to this aisle and this section is i think the baby formulas so you can check their prices here it's about thirty dollars for a can and it goes up to like i see 30 and 40 so quite expensive for baby formula and then on the right side these are all just like health products probiotics and vitamins the left side here is lots of baby snacks baby food so you can see different brands here and the prices are not that expensive compared to the formulas these boxes over here i believe are soy milk different kinds of beans of soy milk and then let's head to the next aisle which is the candy and chip aisle so let's check how much korean chips are mostly korean chips are very sweet they don't have that many chips that are salty so if you love very salty chips you're going to be quite disappointed with korean chips some of them are good but i don't like most of them the prices of chips aren't too bad they're about like one to three dollars and they do have cheetos here but the cheetos taste a lot different than american cheetos so you might be disappointed if you get those so lots of chip options to choose from some of them are pretty good but sometimes i really do miss american chips and just having that really salty flavor and they do have some American brands like Fritos, Lay's, and Pringles. But if you see the price, it's pretty much double the price of the Korean chips, almost four or five dollars just for a small bag. And the Pringles, I do believe they taste a little bit different than the American ones. So again, same like the Cheetos, don't expect the taste to be the same. Let me show you some candy now. Over here, there are some Hershey's candy. It's about four to five dollars for a small bag of Hershey's chocolate. And let me take you all the way down to this side. You can see more types of candies that they have. There are lots of jellies and gummy bears. These are mostly like kids snacks and candies. My students in the past love these candies so if you're teaching in korea definitely get some of these candies for your students korea doesn't have starburst but they do have like a knockoff brand fruitella those taste pretty similar to starburst here are some snickers and again more expensive than the korean brand some twix and we also have kit kats these days i'm seeing more and more american brands like whoppers and reese's so if you really like reese's you can find those in home plus 7-eleven and olive young sometimes over here we have cookies and choco pies there are some american brands like oreos and other kinds of cookies and crackers over here Over here, we have a little pizza section and then we have E-Mart's Fresh Bakery. So they bake their pastries, breads, bagels, and cookies fresh daily. Their breads are pretty good, so I do recommend them. Bagels and cookies are also delicious. Over here, I love these boxes of cookies, the chocolate and the middle one. I think macadamia 
is really delicious. It's about $10 for this box of cookies. The Ultima ones are okay, but definitely not my favorite. Unfortunately, Korea doesn't have much gluten-free products, so all of these breads, cookies, pastries pretty much have gluten in them, so we are out of luck. And I also shouldn't be eating them, but I still eat them anyways. On this side, we have lots of teas. I love the tea. I have so many, but I haven't been drinking them these days. And of course, there are so much coffee. Koreans love their coffees. There's different kinds of coffees, instant mixes. There's just like, you name it, every kind of coffee you can think of. On this side, we have more coffees. These are big boxes for offices. They're about $30 per box. They come with like 300 instant coffee mixes. Over here, we have some Gatorade and then sodas. They also have American sodas and Korean drinks here. Right in front of me, we have the dairy section and two cartons of milk cost about three to four dollars. They also have low-fat milk, lactose-free milk, oat milk, almond milk, soy milk. So they do have some alternatives if you have a dairy allergy. They also have flavored milk, banana milk, chocolate, strawberry milk, and then they have yogurts and probiotics if you guys need those. Okay, so over here you can see the water bottles and sodas. We do have all of the American brands here, except for Dr. Pepper. I don't think I've ever seen Dr. Pepper in Korea, but we have Cola, Sprite, the normal ones that you would normally find. It's about two to three dollars for like one or two liters. So not too expensive. Here we have some water bottles, but I really recommend to just order your water from Coupon or buy a Brita filter because it's just lots of unnecessary plastics that you have to take out and it's really hard to be carrying all this water back to your apartment. Over here we have some juices, tomato juice, aloe juice, grape juice, orange juice. Those prices are pretty normal, about three to four dollars per bottle. On this side, you have a huge selection of wine, but I don't drink wine, so I have no idea about any of these. Let me just show you guys the price if you're curious. Over here, there are some beers, mekju. You have American kind, Korean kinds, but again, I don't drink alcohol, so I don't really care about these, and I don't really know if these are expensive or not. Alright guys, so this video is getting very very long so let me just show you the last section over here which is all of the ramen because you know Korea is like ramen heaven. You can find all of the yummy ramens here and then there's also lots of instant foods back here and instant rices and noodles so you have a wide range of selection if you're lazy to cook you can buy these delicious instant foods that are not healthy for you if you guys are still watching this video please comment down below ramen so i know that somebody watched all the way to like this 25 minute mark let me know Over here, we have the very, very sad cereal aisle and cereal bars. Cereals in Korea are pretty expensive, like almost eight, nine, ten dollars just for a bag of cereal. I don't think Koreans eat much cereal, that's why it's so expensive. 
I hardly ever buy it just because the price is not worth it at all. And then back here is just all of the instant foods. You can add water and microwave and some goguma noodles for like japchae or spring rolls. Over here we have the frozen food section so you can find your dumplings, mandus, and they do have some vegetarian and vegan options. You kind of just have to look for them because they are just mixed in. So I found the vegan section of mandus and Beyond Meat. It is ridiculous, like $20 for Beyond Meat. No way, crazy. Okay guys, hang in there with me. We're almost finished. I think this is the last aisle. Hopefully more kind of ready to eat food, frozen foods here. I'm just gonna pass by quickly because there were a lot of people. I couldn't really show you guys, but lots of pizzas, like frozen Kate's dessert, pre-made chicken, some jellos here and yeah they don't really have american style jellos i don't like the korean kinds but luckily you can find all of your frozen pizzas fries hot dogs in this section okay whew, i think i'm finally finished so i'm going to head out thank you guys if you're still watching hopefully you guys got a good sense of what is in a big Korean grocery mart and the prices you're gonna expect to pay again fruit prices in Korea are crazy so if you want to buy fruit please check out your local marts like farmer marks because they will be a lot cheaper thank you guys for watching all of this way and please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye bye